Your Excellency Mr. Minister, dear Congressman Bloom, members of Congress, on issue and handle, your eminence, government fathers, dear heads and members of the Indian American community and organizations, dear friends. I am honored to address this distinguished audience commemorating the anniversary of the Sungai Tenpaku programs of Armenians in February of 1988 and January of 1990, respectively. I want to thank Congressman Plon once more for this very important initiative and appreciate your presence here and the members of Congress. <coughs> Dear friends, it is with distinct honor and pleasure that I welcome here today the distinguished Minister of Foreign Affairs of Nagorno Karabakh Republic, His Excellency Mr. George Petrosan. His presence here today and at this event speaks for itself. I highly appreciate the efforts and the unity of the Armenian American organizations behind this issue. Dear friends, when the Armenians of Nagorno Karabakh, suppressed by the Soviet Azeri rule for 17 years, deprived of elementary rights to life and development, stood for their freedom and independence, the subsequent Azeri authorities made no distinction in means and methods to silence them including orchestrated mass pogroms and killings against peaceful Armenians living in Sungai, Baku, and elsewhere in Missouri. Without exaggeration, those were the first mass killings and ethnic cleansings in the post-Cold War era in Europe. However, today, the Azerbaijan propaganda machinery spares no effort to present the chronology of events upside down to reverse those facts, to revise the history. They have gone so far as to present the fact of the intervention of Soviet troops in January 1990 in Baku to stop the mass killings of Armenians as an episode of a very fight for national liberation. And the irony is that many who are not well informed of those events fall into the Azeri trap. For example, as recently as a month ago, the newly elected mayor of Washington, D.C., made a favorable for Azeri statement on those events. Both last year and this year, a couple of members of the U.S. Congress, persuaded by Azeris, made a like statement on Hojal events, inspired by oil revenues, exploiting our constructiveness, our focus on negotiations. The Azeris have published an entire propaganda trying to buy international loyalty, to revise the history, and create a favorable atmosphere for themselves. In these circumstances, naturally, we couldn't afford ourselves to stay away. Dear friends, it is important to confront, to counterweight the Azeri events. It is important to remember and remind others the truth about those events and those days. We have been fighting Turkish denial all these years, and we will be fighting Azeri revisions as well. We will demand condemnation and punishment of perpetrators of massacres of Sungai, Shalmian, Kiroba, Baku, Marara, and other places. I have said on other occasions, I want to repeat here again, no statute of limitations or genocidal acts against humanity. We will remember and remind the truth not only because it's our moral obligation, but also because it is an important political and security issue and has the most direct implication for the resolution of Nagorno Karabakh conflict. We understand it requires further time, further time and resource when we already have pretty busy schedules and agendas. However, this important, uh, the importance of it cannot be overestimated. I am proud that both our friends in the United States Congress, Armenia and Karabakh, as well as the Armenian American organizations, the Armenian Assembly, the Armenian National Committee, are unanimous and united in this. I want to thank all of you for that. I want to thank each and every one of you for attending tonight's event despite the pleasant weather. Thank you once more.